So writing to win at 40 is my Instagram handle. It started off as a place for me to share my horse journey as an adult. I've been riding horses since I was three years old and got back to it just a few years ago um, after being away for about 10 years. Riding to win has since turned into um, sort of a, a motto that I use to remind myself about why I am taking on this huge journey uh, to be the first black woman to win a world title in the American Paint Horse Association. I've always ridden horses and I love horses. And I think growing up, you know, time and money and access was always such a big deal. You know, my parents, it was a big deal for me to have a horse in the first place in Oakland. And so then to, you know, be able to resource a serious national run wasn't realistic. I think also, if we're being honest, you know, this association wasn't very available to black people. Um, it was very white. It's still very white in like who runs it. I think there's more openness now to more people of color. They certainly want to attract and be more um, diverse in who competes. And I think we have, you know, we have decent comp like a decent mix of people who are competing, but you know, in the 80s and 90s, black people didn't black people didn't do this. So I think part of it is the life and times too. It's like, it's a good moment to continue to break barriers. I mean, the idea that at 2020, I could still be the first woman to do anything should be ridiculous. And to hold a world title in a sport that we know black people have been involved with since it's the very beginning is, it's telling. So I come to horseback riding as a child. Um, interestingly, I was born in the year of the horse. I'm a wood horse um, under the Chinese calendar, the lunar calendar, and so is my dad. And so when I was a kid, my dad loved horses. We always had pictures of horses. Um, and when I was three years old, he took me up to the hills um, in Oakland, California, and had me get on these horses. My dad is a therapist and he taught at this camp pretty early on before horse therapy was as popular as it is now. And he did an overnight camp with kids who had been abused and they were using horses as a methodology for them to address their trauma. And during the day, um, I was allowed to come up and ride horses with them. And so I spent a summer riding this pony English um, and it kicked me off every day. I got bucked off every single day for an entire, for 90 days. And every single day I would get back on and ride this pony all the way home after it had kept, it had bucked me off. And it really taught me early on this like fearlessness, this grit, this resilience. I was even more interested in getting better at horses. The more I got kicked off, the more committed and dug in I would get around being able to ride well. 